Jacob's leaving. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's Saturday. And it's... I think my com... No, my computer isn't dead. Okay. It's 11.30. It's bad to die, though. I woke up a little bit before 9, and then his parents came. They moved all his stuff out to, like, 11, and then we went to the calf, and we all ate breakfast because we haven't eaten yet. We had pancakes as usual. And now I'm off to study all day. He left and, like, left. Like, he has a final on Monday, but he moved. That doesn't sound safe. He moved all his stuff out today and closed out his room, and then tomorrow he's going to come back up and spend the whole day with me because I'm going to be bored. And then he, Monday, has another exam, and I have two. And then we'll both be done for the year, so I'm just stuck studying. Today I'm going to do med surge or adult, and also pediatrics, because I was having peds exam on Monday. But I wanted to, like, study the essentials of adult, because those, like, the things that I really need to importantly remember. So I did that yesterday, and now I'm going to switch off a peds adult, peds adult, and then also do, like, pack a little, a few more things or whatever I need packed. That's pretty much what I'm tired because I'll go early. That's it for right now. It's about 1.10 now. I did work for like two hours. Um, some units. Oh my gosh, has some adult units take like a shorter, or like a way longer amount of time to study than other adult units. And then I'm only doing like one side show of peds between like a whole section of adult. Because it's more just like review for me. I could probably take the test and not study and still pass it just fine. But I'm studying just for kicks and giggles. And so it's 1.10 now and I'm going to go do laundry. And then probably just like stack a few more things over there. So that I can just prepare to move it out. And I think that's it for right now. One thing I completely forgot I have to do and I'll show you guys what I find from it afterwards is I have to go under my desk and behind the two wardrobes stacked on each other and I need to get um, everything that's like fallen under the heater. So with my desk, it's like under the bed in the bed. You can't really see it from everything that's in front of it right now. When the beds are lofted, there's like a bar in the back just for like secure and like, I don't know, just like for stability. So because there's a bar in the back and then everything is shoved against the heater, as you can see on the floor, there's like a huge amount of space there. And as you can see, I've dropped like over here is a beauty blender. And then I think that's like a weird little dinky toy I had. And then that's like a toothpick. I drop everything from my desk behind there just like because my makeup little plastic thing sits against the back of that bar. And then if I drop anything, it goes over and it goes down and underneath the heater. So I have a bunch of stuff dropped back there. I also, with my wardrobe, I used to keep a laundry basket on the top with my sheets and like my towels and everything. And to get the sheets, or the not the sheets, but the towels up there after I clean them, I toss them up. So I throw the sheets up to get to the basket. Some of them fall over onto the other side. So throughout the year, I've kind of like lost a bunch of towels. I also have to get my, there's um two sets of bed risers, you can see there. I did not put them there. That's the funny thing. So when they lofted this bed, you have to like put in a work order. As you can see on the bed, ignore my pillowcase. You see there's two notches. These are like both regular bed frame sides. There's two notches on each. They only will put them up to the second one for safety reasons because... Uh, I hope my hand wasn't on the mic again. Anyway, they only put them up to the second notch for safety reasons, just to make the bed more stable. But we didn't want them up there, because if we put them up at that height, then you can't stick two wardrobes underneath it, and you just have less space, and it just creates a problem. So, Abby, also her bed is lofted to the highest point. She, we have, like, the materials and things to loft it up to the highest. You're not supposed to, because maintenance is like, you guys are going to break the materials. How we do it is we take a um, rubber mallet and then we take like a washcloth or something. We put it over the metal and we hit it with the mallet so it pops out of the little, because there's two like rings in there that the metal frame just like sits down in. So you just have to pop it out and then kind of peel back, I guess, the 
split apart. So at one point when I was gone, Abby did this bed. She did her own with her boyfriend. I don't know how she did this alone, but she said she did. She somehow did. Obviously, it's done. And she also got the risers underneath. And there's two sets because when you have a bed lofted like that, if you want to put a wardrobe underneath it, because of the bars that go underneath the bed, you need it lofted with two sets of bed risers. So we, I have two sets. Um, Abby didn't use two sets because she didn't have the stacked wardrobes underneath her bed. Or drawers, whatever you want to call them. I think tomorrow I'm going to help Jake have Jake help me out with those, but I right now I'm going to get everything out from underneath my desk, which is not going to be an easy task. It's easier to just reach behind my wardrobe since my fridge is gone. But I'm going to show you guys what I find. Let me show you what I got. So there's obviously a bunch of like, there's like two tissues and my beauty blender. I threw away the beauty blender. I think I used to use that one, but it's like so lint and dirt and just disgusting that. I'll just buy another one. I got pencils and a highlighter, which I'm not surprised I dropped behind there. And then, oh, did I really ruin it? This one's already powder. I dropped eyeshadows back there and I really like this color, but if you can see, it's like a little undetached. I'm going to still use it though. And then I have this one, which is already a powder, so it doesn't matter that I dropped it. And then I have this little, well, I have this little from my chocolate palette. It says how to do a smoky eye. I just keep it just in case I want to try it. And I have this little dude that says, like, do your duty. It was from Walmart last year because Lily and I, in the summer, just like to joke around and go and use, like, the quarter machines at Walmart. And anything that's, like, poop related, like, anyone with IBD is like, ooh, it's an IBD joke. So I just kind of like having this little guy, like, as a little toy or trinket on my desk that says do your duty. Kind of a, just a, rem a reminder of, like, do what you need to do. yeah I think I'm going to stay a little bit more pack a little more I gotta do my laundry I found a regular towel and a face cloth behind that wardrobe we'll get on with my day I'm taking another break but I'm about to move some stuff out to my car I was doing laundry I didn't do it on time so now all the dryers are taken it's completely my fault but it kind of sucks so I'm gonna have to wait for my laundry to be done but I'm going to bring out almost all of this stuff i'm bringing out that pillow um this bag is boots it includes my rain boots but i'm not gonna wear any boots because it's not cold enough anymore that little machine that i want to bingo that i'm probably never going to use until the summer random box of stuff a roller for my muscles my printer and that i'm gonna leave the towels and the tissues i'm gonna put all that stuff together I'm hoping everything is still fitting and I have enough room for everything. The number one thing I keep finding when I'm packing is hair elastics. Any girl can relate, but I moved a bunch of stuff into my car. Still have plenty of space. It will fit no matter what. I will make it fit. And I'm going to get back to study now. It's 3.15. I'm hungry, but obviously dinner isn't until 4.30. Some girl type is like, I'm packing to unpack. I want it to be like, I feel that on such a personal level because I'm packing to unpack to then reorganize everything in my room to then repack it because I'm going to be moving into the new apartment on the 9th and I'm leaving on the 6th. I have two days to get my stuff together and renew my license. Well, I'm moving in on the 9th because I'm going to be going down there for health screening for the job that's on there and then come back. I have to go down the state like this is like southern in my state i have to go down to the state again because my brother's graduated college on the 11th so i'm gonna be down there on the 9th down there on the 11th mind you this is like two a solid two hours at least when my brother's graduating is a 30 plus drive and then on the 13th i'm getting my infusion up at the hospital and then the, technically i'm going to jake's house on the 13th and then we're flying out on the 14th but i say like the 13th of the night so, and then we get back from Disney, we go straight to our apartment, and then I start work the next day. So, it's a bit crazy right now, and I, like, have things that I need to get done when I'm home. So, when that girl said that, I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's happening. I don't have, like, any other, like, I don't have bags or anything to put anything else in. I've kind of, like, ran out of space. So, I'm going to have to get creative, because I don't, I mean, I legit don't have any other bags to put anything in. I have, like, one cube. Like, all my clothing and stuff can go in bags. I don't really care about that, but, like, I just have little dinky things that I need to go somewhere, so I'm going to have to figure that one out. It's just about 4.30 now. I 
studied more adult and more peds. I'm getting tired of studying peds. I love pediatrics, like I really want to be a pediatric nurse, but some of the stuff. I just like don't know what she's gonna make the final. She's gonna make it super easy. I don't know how many is gonna be how many questions are gonna be on there. So I'm finding the studying for that class a bit meticulous, but I also do like need a break from med surge. I'm also kind of at that point right now where I'm like, I just don't wanna study anymore. And I've been starving since earlier. I don't know if I already said the time, but it's four thirty, which is when the calf like technically the calf opens at four for dinner but they don't like really serve the food till about 4 30 so i have my to-go box so i'm gonna go grab food i'm hoping it's fried foods which is not healthy but we had mozzarella i want to say mozzarella sticks but i don't know if people are gonna get what i'm saying but mozzarella sticks last night and it was super good i'm probably either going to get fried food if they have it if not i'll probably get some kind of pasta or if they have it like fish um i can't really get soup with that container which is fine. Typically, weekends of soup isn't the greatest either. I'm also, I've been watching just like YouTube videos while I've been studying and I'm texting Abby, my roommate. Abby was supposed to come back tonight, but now she's not sure. She's just going to come back to get a few extra things to move out because she still has a few things. Her, her bed's still made too, yeah. Um, but she's now going to do family things. So she's not even sure if she's going to come back. So I've just pretty much been chilling here. And yeah, I think I'm going to come back. I'm going to eat and then I'm going to shower just because it'll probably be like my last shower. I don't really have any reason to shower on Monday unless I, it's after I get home. I do shower like typically every day um, or like I sh sometimes like I don't wanna, I don't ever wash my hair every day. That doesn't happen. But I'm not doing anything. I'm literally just sitting in my room all day. So I'll probably shower tonight and then stuff everything away that I need to shower and pack that and then I just won't shower again until Monday which is fine by me and I'm thinking so I think that's the dealio I'm gonna run to the cafe and grab some food